In this video, I'm going to show you how you can pick a random file from a folder on Google Drive. It sounds simple, but actually it's not that straightforward. And this can be useful in cases where you might want to pick a random image to drop into a social media post, a blog post. It also doesn't need to be an image. It could be random videos you're sending on Slack, whatever the use case is. If you'd like access to this blueprint so that you can import it at the click of a button, like so, then check out the link in the description to our community, where you'll get access to all our systems and templates, including our make.com masterclass, where you can level up your automation skills. So what we have here, we have a Google Drive module. What I've done is I've created a folder on Google Drive just with 16 random images, and I've set up my connection. I've selected the location and the folder location there. I've set the retrieval to files, and then under limit, I've set it to 100. So what I've done is I've set an upper limit. There's only 16 in the folder, but I've set an upper limit here. And this is the search for files and folders module for Google Drive. Now, this will return an array of items or bundles. So for example, if I just stop this here, let me just put in one and zero, and I'll press save. If I run this, I, don't, I, I set one and zero there because I don't want it to go any further. You can see if you open up that bubble that you have 16 different bundles. So this is you know, essentially 16 files. And then I use an array aggregator to transform those bundles into an array. So the input is 16 bundles and the output is one bundle with an array of 16 items. Okay, so now if we zoom in on this module here, this one is a random number between two numbers. And the, va the variable value here is so we're looking at a random number, which is a floating point number between zero and one, times the length of the array. So we have set 100 as the limit on Google Drive here, but we don't need a random number between one and 100 because there's only 16 files. So we're getting the length of the array here, which is 16, and then we're multiplying a random number or a decimal between zero and one times the number of items in that array. And then that's gonna give us a decimal. So let me take out a calculator here. So let's say the random number is 0 0.2657. Multiply that by 16, we're going to get 4.2. And then the floor function returns the largest integer less than or equal to a specified number. So that's going to drop that from 4.25 down to 4. And then plus 1 at the end. So that variable value will end up with 5 if 4.2512 is the number. So you can test that out here. Press OK and run it, and you can see five is the number. Okay, so we'll put that back in again. So it's random times the array length. Okay, we'll save that up, run it again. And now you can see, yeah, we're getting seven, we're getting 14, we're getting one, etc. So here's a quick look at that value again. So it's floor, and then it's a random times the length of the array plus one. Okay, so then we now have a number between one and 16. That's at random. It's an integer as well. So then in this module, we're looking for a random file ID. So then it's simply a case of opening up the array and we're looking at, well, we want file ID, but the array index will be the random number that we just generated. So again, you can see here, for in this instance, the random file ID is this one. If we run it again, it's gonna be a different file ID. This one ends in TJ, this one ends in uh, XJT, this one ends in zero BR. So that's how you get a random file ID from a folder of files on Google Drive. What you do with that then is up to you. You know, So that could be a case of, if it was a social media posting, or if it was a WordPress post you were creating, you can then download that image. So it downloads a file, and you can drop in that file ID then that you just created. So if we save that and run it, you can see it's downloading the file to make, and that will then give you the full binary data that you can then, for example, create an image on WordPress or upload to social media, for example. So how that would look on WordPress, for example, just out of interest. Um, you would pick WordPress and you're looking for media. So it's creating a media item. This requires a, a binary stream, which is now what we have because we've used this download a file module. So you would press map and then the data, well, actually, sorry, that was it. Yeah, you can see the data here. It's essentially this binary representation of that image. So that's data and then you would have the name as is. And that's pretty much it. That's how you would upload that media item to WordPress. And from there, then you're going to get a WordPress media ID that you could embed in a WordPress post. That's how it would work if it was a WordPress that you were trying to embed a random image into. That will differ depending on your use case. So that's it. If you found that useful, then check out our automation community. My brother Alan and I run the AI Automators, where we have in-depth AI automation courses. We have a make.com masterclass where you can learn things like this, select a random file. We also have a wide range of system templates built mostly on make.com that can do everything from blog automation, social media automation, video automation, lead gen automation, etc. And then we also have lots of micro templates so you can connect and plug and play lots of different services. So check out the link in the description for that. We'd love to see you there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.